In the last weeks, we explored every corner of this house and we found something special upstairs. So here are their rooms from my mom and her sisters. And here, inside of this chest of drawers from my grandmother, there is something very special. So we are going to show you today. So in this chest of drawers, there are so many kimonos and some of them are from my mom and her sisters, also my grandparents and even there are some kimonos from my grandmom's grandma. So that means more than 120 years old. As these kimonos were hidden for such a long time in the chest of drawers of my grandparents and nobody was wearing them, we decided to try some of them. This socks called tabi. These days, people in Japan are not wearing kimonos regularly and I'm always happy when I get a chance to wear those beautiful traditional dresses. The last time I was wearing a kimono was probably a few years back on the wedding of my friend. So we will put the sheet on the ground to keep the kimono clean, to protect kimono. It's made of paper, Japanese paper, called washi. Wearing a kimono is kind of complicated and takes long time. If you want to wear a classical kimono in a proper way, it could take around an hour till every piece will be set perfectly. Today, we want to try a casual way and we are not going to put on all kinds of pieces. First, I'm wearing the nagajuban. The nagajuban is the inner dress of the kimono. To attach the inner kimono to the body, we use fabric belt called munehimo. Above the munehimo comes an even bigger fabric belt called datejime. By the way, if you want to try out wearing a traditional kimono, I would recommend you to visit a kimono rental store in Kyoto. There, the shop assistants are well trained and they know all kinds of steps of wearing a kimono. Now, finally, I'm wearing the most important part, the actual kimono. Do you always need help of somebody to wear the kimono or you can actually put it on by yourself? Actually, I cannot wear, like most of the people cannot wear by themselves. So we need help like this. After wearing the kimono, another datejime is added. One of the important parts of the kimono is the obi, which is folded into obi makura on the back. Another beautiful piece which is important for the design is the obi jime, which is added in the end. Now it's time for Marco to wear the kimono of my grandfather. So this is the kimono of your grandfather, right? Mm -hmm. That's the oldest kimono, like 80 years old. What is the name of Men's the and women's kimono are kind of different and in terms of color, pattern kimono? and pieces. Mm. Ah, okay. So do you know what I'm actually wondering How right now? How, How would I go to toilet later? <laughs> <laughs> For men, it's kind of simple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the only thing what is missing right now are the shoes, right? Yeah. So those shoes are called get up. Mm -hmm. Not really comfortable. Okay. But yeah, we wear it. And they are made out of wood, right? Yeah. And I have Birkenstock shoes. Yeah, but it's called Kyoto, right? Right, it's the Kyoto version. <laughs> Today we tried the Japanese kimono, it was really fun, we made a lot of pictures and now we try to make use of this dress as much as possible so we are walking a little bit through the neighborhood and enjoy the rest of the day together. In the next video we want to find out why anime and manga is so popular in Japan. 
also when we were cleaning Senka's room at home, we found those old Game Boy games. So today we are trying to sell them. They're always watching anime, they're always like reading manga. For them it's like the place where they can go like run away from their job because it's very, to tell the truth, it's very difficult to work in Japan. Mm -hmm. So if we get a lot of money, what shall we eat? So either Japanese curry, ramen or shabu shabu. We hope to see you next week again.